Welcome to the channel, I'm Jay Malone. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can fly your DJI drone with the AirMap app. If this is your first time to the channel and you enjoy photography, drones, technology, and other related things, then start off by hitting that subscribe button. When you do, tap the little bell icon next to it, that way you won't miss anything. Today, I've got a really quick, short little video here to let you know about something. A few weeks ago, I uploaded a video about the AirMap app. It's an app that I use to make sure I'm flying in the airspace that I'm supposed to be. Um, it'll let you know if you're somewhere where you're not supposed to be flying. If you haven't seen that video, be sure and watch that. You can click on the card in the top of this video. But just recently, there was an update to that app that actually allows you to fly your DJI drone straight from that app. And it will tell you right there whether or not you're in an airspace where you're not supposed to be. So I think this is pretty cool. Let's get the phone and get the controller and let's see what it looks like. Okay, I have my controller here. And as you can see, I use a little mount with this. Um, I have my phone mounted into the mount. You can use this with a phone or a tablet. I always keep my phone in the case and it didn't fit into the controller with the case. So I decided to go with this mount. Um, it seems like every time I use it, someone asks me about it. So yeah, you'll see a link to it uh, in the description below this video, my gear list. Um, this real mount is very cool. I really like this. Okay, let's open up the AirMap app and let's see what it looks like when we open it. Okay, you can see it shows my map, shows my location, but if we'll look down here, it is flying under FAA Part 107. I am a certified pilot, so I can fly under Part 107 rules, or I can fly for fun. So let me tap fly for fun. You'll notice when I tap fly for fun, there is an advisory here, and if I go to the advisories, it is letting me know that I am within five miles of an airport and that I would need to contact the airport. Since I have my remote pilot certificate, I can fly under part 107 rules. Uh, that way I don't have to contact the airport right now. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to change this to part 107 certified. And as you see, there are no advisories now, so I'm good to fly here. You'll also see a new icon over here on the right. Um, looks like some wings or whatever. Let's tap that and let's see what happens then. Now we're in the part of the AirMap app that allows us to fly. We have the GPS on, on the drone. You can see it says safe to fly. So we're actually going to take this off and then we'll get some camera going on this drone. All right, we are rolling and we are ready to fly. As you can see here, it pretty much tells me all the information that was in the DJI app. Uh, this actually does the flight logs within this app itself. So. Yeah, we're going to take the drone on up and give it a short flight while we have it in the air. Take a look. If you tap the screen, you can make the video larger. This is a business called Riceland. They do a lot of rice drying, grain drying here at this facility. Now let's see if we can get a glimpse of that sunset.
and let's make sure the return to home features work on this. So I'm going to tap the screen and tell it to return to home. And it's working. Since I'm close to some power lines here, I'm gonna cancel the auto land feature and I'll land it myself. You can hear it's beeping at me. I have a low battery. This battery wasn't full when I took off. I guess I'll land it now. So once you've landed and you're back to the AirMap app, you can click on your profile. Click on the little picture there for your profile. You can click on flights and go to past and that way you can see the past flights that you have tap on the most recent here I've only flown twice with this app you can actually see the duration your max altitude so yeah it keeps a flight log of your flights in this app kind of like it does in the DJI app so let me know down in the comments below is this something that you might use do you have a DJI drone that you can even use this with I'd like to hear what you think down in the comments Guys, it was a beautiful day and I couldn't resist the urge to come outside and shoot a video. Uh, I don't shoot too many videos outside, but hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.